Hey guys, for today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of Idol's second mini album, I Made. I bought this album from Music Plaza and they gave me the following freebies. A BT21 sticker and a picture postcard thing of the I Made era. Pretty much the teaser photos. So thank you so much, Music Plaza. Back onto the album, what a comeback. I know a lot of people didn't like Senorita, but I'm one of the few that actually really enjoy it. Although I prefer a different ending to the song, overall it's a really great song. But for those that don't really enjoy Senorita, I do recommend listening to the rest of this album. I can say with my whole chest that I Made is a better album than their first mini album, I Am. So that's saying a lot about their b-sides. So if you guys don't like Senorita, give their b-sides a listen, you won't regret it. Let's get this album out. So here we have the cover. I love when albums have members on the cover. And I love that it's very different from I Am. It's the same packaging and texture, but everything else is quite different. The ombre side and the back with the track list. So for this mini album, there are a total of five songs. So many great things going on in this album. You even have a song by Minnie, which I believe is Blow Your Mind. Please do give it a listen. Let's open it. Ooh, I'm digging this. It's quite sexy. It goes with the Senorita theme. And again, they have the magnet clasp to hold the album together. I think the last album had this too. Love the gold. Let's try to get everything out. Photo book. Let's talk about the CD first. Let's see if I can get it out. All right. This is really, really nice. <laughs> kind of looks like a peach. It's a nice softer tone compared to the red box and all the members are on it. They pretty much punctured mini. Kind of disturbing. Let's put the box away and let's Look through the photo book. Here we have the front. The concept photos really confused me about the type of concept they were going for. Like some of the teaser photos were kind of like Renaissance photos. The credits. So I was surprised to know that the title track was called Senorita, which doesn't give me a Renaissance feel. But it worked. Here we have the track list again. Although I do love Senorita, I wouldn't have mind if What's Your Name was the title track. I think that would have been quite fitting. It also has a more of a traditional song structure unlike Senorita, so it is a very likable track. Number three is probably my favorite though. I think it's number three. It's the ballad song. I can't really tell from the Korean titles, but whichever is the ballad song is my favorite song on here. Girls at a tea party. We're starting with Mion. I think this might be from age order. Minnie. I really enjoy Minnie in this era. She's catching my eye a lot. For last era, it was Oogie. For this era, it is Minnie. And I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so confused whether it's Oogie or something else. Su Jin, a babe. And she knows it. So Yan. Still my bias. She looks quite different from these photos. Oogie. Sometimes I call her Yu Chi, her Chinese name. Whichever just fits better. Xu Hua, another member that's been catching my eye lately. She is so cute and precious. She deserves way more, but also consider the fact that Idol's barely a year old. I think Xu Hua has plenty of time to shine, it's just not right now. But I won't get too angry about it. I know a lot of fans are. I will be patient for the time being. This is so precious. So far, the photos don't give me like a Latin vibe. Like how their title song kind of implies. But the song itself didn't have too strong of Latin vibes either. Which I do enjoy that fact. They didn't have the stereotypical sound. So good job, Soyeon. Oh, I'm assuming we're gonna have different concept photos next. The red photos, more of a senorita vibe. Mini looks so beautiful here. I love that even for a flower, it's not a rose. 
because that would be too obvious considering their title track. Oh, everyone has a different flower. Oh, Minnie, you're so pretty. She has such a distinct face in all the best ways. She is so pretty. So, so pretty. Sujin. Her hips for this era, my gosh. They're so dangerous. These are pretty flowers. I wonder how easy it was to find these flowers. Oh, they probably ran out of different types of flowers. So Ugi gets a butterfly. She is so cute. A soft face for quite a deep voice. And the beautiful Shu Hua. Sometimes when I look at her, like in this instance, she looks like a portrait. She is so pretty. They all look like dolls. Pairings now. Let's see. Minnie and Mion. I'm thinking these photos more. Super cute. <laughs> it is a tea party with their teacups. Must be gossiping. This is a pairing I don't really see very often. Ugi and Sujin. Soyeon and Shuhua. Oh, let's see what we pull. I do know for this comeback, Q for some reason made the item super big. Like they won't fit my usual photo card sleeves, but I do like that they gave us more than one item. First, we are back with the sticker. So for I am, you get a purple one. For I made, you get a red one. Cube's audition info, no one cares. Okay, so for this little photo, I've got, can't see. It's mini! This is perfect. I love pulling members from who I believe dominated the era and I do believe this is Minnie's era. So I love the fact that I pulled her. I just don't know where to put her because this is such a weird size. I think it might be a sticker too. So maybe my binder? I don't know. So for photo card, we shall see. And I got mini again. Oh, this is perfect. This sucks though that she can't fit in my sleeve, but oh my gosh, I'm super happy with who I pulled. This is the back. I don't know, do the members have their own colors? Like, was it supposed to be obvious that blue is mini? Or is it pretty random? We put the stuff to the side. And we're back. Oh, it's a Nike outfit. Or at least a Nike wristband. Senorita. Although I do love the song, it just kind of leaves me wanting more, you know? It kind of ends off a little weird. Uh, I don't know, like it's so good. I just feel like it's just missing the little oomph to add it to be a great song. What's your name? One of my favorite B-sides. I don't know if it's this the track that is my favorite song on here though. It's one of the ballads. It's the one I think where Soyeon starts with her singing. What a voice, my gosh. Track four. I didn't even know she could sing like that. More Mion. I do like the change in outfits. They're all wearing these beautiful jackets now. I find it funny, like they have a bit like a hard concept, but here they are holding little teacups. <laughs> Looking like marshmallows instead. And the beautiful Shuhua. Pretty much at the end when you see a group photo. More group photos. And the credits. So pretty much that was it with the photo book. About three different types of concepts going on with the photo book. I do love her variety. So for this album, there was the photo book, the box set, which is probably my favorite album cover so far this year. I love it. It's like straight from a museum. It's beautiful. The sticker, which is quite a tradition at this point. Cube's stupid audition ad. A sticker, which I pulled mini. And a giant photo card, which I also pulled mini. So that's awesome. This was Idol's second mini album, I Made. Please give this album a listen. I do believe they matured their sound from I Am. I Am was a bit more like a teen phase. This is more like a young adult phase now in terms of the sound they were going for. I really love this new polished sound of theirs. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.